12 months ago, Mohammed, you and I would have been talking about frothy valuations in private markets that would not be met in public markets. And now we're asking the question as to whether the valuations in private markets are too low, given where public markets are right now. Mohammed, how do you process what's happening in the last couple of days? So I process by simply saying the following. People are looking for opportunities. People are very set on things will just go up. Um, there's concern that big tech may have gone too far. There's concern that the cyclical rotation may be frustrated by what we talked about in terms of the economy and public health. So new stories, new ones, can, can get traction really quickly. Um, and that's what happened with, with, with the IPOs. So for me, this, this is understandable from a technical perspective, but people have to realize that ultimately you have to ask, can the company fundamentals sustain this valuation? Can the market as a whole sustain this valuation over a longer term, over a longer period? And, and that's the main question. But it doesn't surprise me that we saw what we saw this week, Jonathan. Well, let me ask you this then from a psychological perspective, and I apologise for bringing up feelings, but I want to talk about feelings, Mohammed, just briefly to round things out. Is it more uncomfortable to sit this out or to be allocated and be a part of it? It's certainly more, more uncomfortable to sit it out. And that's why a lot of people have joined, knowing, like, like a surfer on a big wave that's enjoying herself or himself, that at some point it's going to break. But as long as you don't see that wave breaking, you will continue surfing it. And that's what people are doing. I know lots and lots of people, Jonathan, who basically are holding their nose and participating in this rally. And you know what? They've made money. So this is, this is a sort of liquidity-driven wave that continues and feeds onto itself until something goes wrong. And you and I have talked about the three things that can possibly go wrong, and nobody expects that to happen in the short term.